Hi, this is Digital Lady Sid, and I just want to do a quick example of exactly what this Sunrays does and how easy it is to manipulate it. Um, this beautiful picture I'm going to use here was up on Unsplash, and it's by Simon Matzinger. I'll have a link to it uh, below the, um, the YouTube here. And what we're going to do is use, just use the Sunrays filter on it, so you can actually see how easy it is to use. So the first thing we're going to do is you hit Add Filters and you get your list here. And we're going to go down to Sun Glow. There it is. We're going to close it up. This is all your default settings. So um, they're not ones that I'm going to use for this particular blog, but just to give you an idea of what um, it looks like when it just opens up. That by itself, if you do a before, after. Look at that even. Just putting those in there is kind of pretty. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to use these settings. We're going to go to X and we're going to move it over to this side because I just decided I wanted to try it over here. And we're going to move it, um, leave the Y where it is because it's kind of like that. But see what a big white splotch we've got here. These are all the settings that affect the rays. These affect the sun, and this affects all the image. They all go from 0 to 100, as I explained in my blog. So the next thing that we want to do is set an amount. An amount is basically an opacity slider, and as you see, as I move that right, it's going to get brighter and brighter, so something like that. We're going to use a look of two, and like I said, the look, you know, look at, it's almost like a saturation type effect in this image. So I had set that fairly low for this particular photo because I just thought it looked real fallish that way. Um, the number we're going to decrease because that's a lot of, a lot, that still is a lot going in this uh, forest here. And we're going to set the length to um, fairly long. Okay, I'll leave it there at the default, I guess, pretty much. Uh, the warmth. I'm going to increase the warmth, and you're going to see as I increase this warmth, what I was saying in the blog, you can see all the yellows and oranges just kind of explode. That's kind of nice because you're trying to get this emotional feeling out of the image, so it looks good. The radius um, is exactly the size of the, the sun, so if I make it real big, it just looks huge. If I set it really low, which is what I wanted, because it's coming through all those trees, you don't really want to be able to see it much. I'm going to make it really small. And then the glow, um, I guess I'll leave it there. The amount is pretty much the same thing as the glow. So I don't see a lot of difference other than that seems to be darkening it down a little. And then the warmth again. Now, how warm do I want this image? Do I want it real warm? Do I want it real dark? Dark, you know, it, it's... You just have to experiment with these sliders to get a, a, an effect you like. Um, the randomness is the one I really like. Uh, you could set, I'm setting that one to 24 because I tried this one before and I like 24 setting. But you just sort of have to adjust it to fit with the trees. And then this is the one I really like. When you pull that penetration up, you're going to get really a soft effect. Um, you, if, if you don't, as I mentioned in my blog, if you don't like some of the splotchiness over here, you could probably go in and add a... Um, a layer mask by clicking on the brush you get a layer mask and you can choose brush gradient or mask at this point I'm not going to do that because I didn't want to go into that much detail but I just kind of wanted to give you um, let you see what you can do uh, I'll put this up um, on the blog and uh, you can uh, check it out again uh, if you want to find out more what I do go to sidspix.wordpress.com for lots of blogs and I have a smaller fun Photoshop blog or a play blog where I don't go into much detail called uh, www.digitalladysid.com. Um, I'll have those links below and have a good week. Bye.